In this video, you will learn how to connect one driver IC6150 to one breaker in the power, Ellipse power. So, I will use some components I previously developed in other video. The first thing is I am going to use this simulator, Infotech IC6150. The same simulator I used in the video E324. The video E324 is to learn how to build a driver. So here in my project, I will reuse this one. So I have my driver here. And if I check, for example, the breaker position here, I can read the value of my breaker position. 2 and 1 for close and 2 for open. So I'm going to connect the tag from my driver directly to my breaker one. So in this case, for this demo, I make a very small electrical model, very easy, just one bus bar, one generator, one breaker, and one load. Then I insert this in my screen and this part is the part coming from the previous video E324 the same video that we make for the driver then here you will see the value of the three phase currents breaker position and here I can send command by E3 scripting so now I just want to do the same thing here in my breaker so the first thing to do here that we can do it's in measurement I can insert the analog measurement just to show that we can do the exact same thing so here I can write this is EL1 EL2 EL3 so this three L1 2 and 3 I can insert SCADA for each and the source active source will be SCADA for the 3 ok so this one EL1 here I can choose the measurement type so actually it will be the current here current A Current B and the current C. Then in SCADA, I can choose for L1 SCADA. I can choose from my dataset measurement. I can choose the value for. Phase A, this one for phase B, and this one for phase C. And if I go to my breaker one measurement, I can see the value here. So if I close my breaker, I have the same value here and here. So if I change the value, I can see the change here. So this is how I can just display the value of my measurement inside the breaker. So right now what I need to do is I want to show also the breaker position. So the breaker position here, I need to choose the tag. And this tag, I will also choose from, I can choose from inside my dataset or from the object one ST position value. So if I remember well, 
I need to be careful about the value of the open and closed state. So if I go back to a project here, breaker is closed, then breaker is open. Closed, open. Actually, it doesn't do anything here. So I need to check carefully why is the reason. So here, I need to check again. For my previous video, here I make a link which tell me that close is one, open is two. So in my breaker position, SCADA, then here I have the value, but I need to keep in mind that open is two. So in my configuration, I need to go to discrete, breaker position, and here I need to apply conversion. Open is two, but here by default open is zero. So I can make a new, conversion and call it infotech which is the name of my relay okay infotech is the name of my relay and then here i can apply two for open one is close then intermediate is zero invalid is three so i have correct conversion for my relay then I go back to the breaker position here and in SCADA here I will choose Infotech as conversion. Then I run. Then the breaker is open. So now if the breaker is really open, the currents do not pass. If I close, then the current goes through. And the component is red for closed, green for open which is the same thing that I defined here, open green, red close. So everything is perfect for the breaker position. Now I want to send a comment. To send a comment, I need to go to breaker one and I need to add comment. Inside my comment, I will insert a new discrete comment that I will call breaker position. And this breaker position will be a breaker position. Then I also need to apply a conversion here. But before, I will prepare my two common units. One for open and the second for close. So for each common unit here, I need to choose this one is close. This one is open. Then here, I go back to power configuration. And I need to go to the comment. Here for breaker position, I need to check carefully and I will make a new conversion also for this comment, also the same name, infotech. And this one, I need to define everything I need for this particular breaker. For example, I can make a feedback timeout. And for the IC6150, as you learned from the video E324, the operate value, operate feedback value, it's five. Five means that when the command is received from by the relay successfully, it will return the value five. If the value is not five, for example, 217, it means the command is not accepted. Value five means the command is accepted. So we expect to have five on this tag. So, the other thing we need to do is to complete the two script for on operate and on operate finish. We need to make two script here. This two script is based on tag we are going to define for our breaker. So let's go back for a while in our breaker one. In the breaker one common position here, I need to select the tag for open and close. If you remember well. In our driver here, I have CO, which has two blocks. One is a POS. I have to write operate on operation tag and the value, which is 0 or 1. And then I will receive the feedback value on this tag, POS underscore stat status. So if I go back to my breaker one, 
Each common unit will receive two tags. One is operate feedback tag, which is this one. And the second one is the operate write tag. Operate write tag, which is here. So operate feedback tag, I can choose already CO, POS stat, status, and value. So operate feedback tag is the same for the two common units. Then I need to fill the tag for the operate write tag. But actually this tag in IC6150, we don't only write one tag. We have to write two tags. One is operation, one is value. So I cannot write any tag here. I need to write a block. Then I will just use this block to write my two tags. So the only reference I can give here is just the block POS. I cannot give any information here because we need to write on operation, we have to write on value. So I only give the block. I will copy this block to here. Then for this broker position here, I need to indicate info tag. Then here, I go back to my configuration and then I need to fill the information what I need. Okay, the value we know already to send the comment is zero for open, one for close. On operate, I can write a tag, which one, because I will send a block, not a tag. So I can remove these two lines. Then here, if I remove these two lines, I need to write a new script based on the block I just received. So I will write set block is equal to application get object operate write tag. The operate write tag is the one you have here. is the one we will write, is the one we receive from this function here. If I want to show here, operate write tag is this one, operate write tag. So we receive this one, so it's this one. Okay, so this one here is what we write here. So I set in the block, so block item we have operation value this is equal to operate then block item value value is equal to the value to open or value to close which is the right value then last one we have to write the block so the block is block right, but we want to have to know if this script will fail or not fail. So I can write this because this function can return a boolean. So I will use this boolean to know if the script fail or not fail. So it seems to be ready for the script. Then I will move to on operate finish. In this script, I need to write the success of the comment. So if I fail, then the status message will be fair. The status message is one small message you will have inside if I go to, to the comment, I will have a Windows and the Windows after each comment, when I send a comment, it will have a message. So this is how we can just write a message here. If I fail, then the message is fail. If it's not fail, then I have two choice. If the feedback value is true, 
feedback value is true, it means that the feedback error here is true, it means that we don't receive 5. If the value is not 5, then this value will be false. If the value is 5, then this value will be not, not wrong. I repeat again. If the feedback error is true, it means that we don't receive 5. If the feedback error is false, it means that we receive 5. So we don't have any error. So if feedback error, then status message is not accepted. Otherwise, status message is accepted. Then I close and my script is finished. The last thing we have to care is because my conversion now is ready, I need to check if my breaker position will also follow this conversion in Fotech. So everything should be ready. So now I can just close again my viewer and I can start everything. And then I can go to my breaker measurement and here I can go to comment. So here I can close and then I can operate Confirm operate, yes, then the command is accepted, then the break is closed. I open, operate, yes, the command is accepted, my break is open. This is how you can make the comment by linking the driver to the breaker one.